guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about this glowy, natural, radiant look right here. This is pretty much all I was wearing during my trip to St. Bart's. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I recently went to St. Bart's with NARS, which was like just such an amazing trip. Um, and during the trip, they launched a full new orgasm collection. So I thought I would recreate the look that I was wearing on the island the entire time and also incorporate the new products so you can see all the new new. Um, and yeah, so get ready to see how I got this look. It's perfect for vacations, trips, or just if you want like a really quick and easy five minute glowy makeup look for school or work. There is a giveaway at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on if you never want to see a video or <laughs> never want to see a video. No, that's not what well, not what I want. Um, if you never want to miss a video is what I meant to say. So yeah, make sure to turn those notifications on. You know the drill and let's get started. <laughs> with brows. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil just to do a light little fill-in, even if we're doing natural, glowy looks. You always gotta spoof up the brows just a little bit. I don't thicken them or darken them too much. I just want to fill in any gaps or sparse areas. And you guys know I always go in and carve out the bottom of the brows. And my new favorite thing that I've been using lately is this e.l.f. Wow Brow. It's so bomb, you guys. I tried it out in my dupes video. That was like the first time that I had tried it. And it's basically a little dupe for Benefit uh, Gimme Brow. It has this little teeny tiny wand on it and it does have fibers on the wand. So you can see, since it's so small, you can really get like in there. So what I like to do is you can see on this side, I have like more sparseness than on this side. So I'll literally just go over the sparse areas and it works so well to fill that in. Like, do you see how even it looks now? It's so, so good. So I will do just like a light little touch of it all over Ah, <laughs> I will do just a light little touch of it all over the entire brow, but I really focus it on that like very sparse area in the front of this brow. And now look at that. We have nice, even, very full brows, but still natural. Mm. So next up, I'm gonna move to primer. I'm gonna be using the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. So obviously in this look, um, we're keeping everything very, very, very natural. This is a really good primer if you're not gonna be using full coverage foundation because I feel like it almost like blurs out your skin and it does have a really nice like radiance to it. Ugh, it smells so good as well. Like it smells like fruity candy or something. It smells amazing. Okay, so personally I like to, um, even if I'm not doing a full coverage look, a lot of times I'll use a very light coverage foundation just to even out my skin tone and match it to like my body. Um, so today I'm gonna be using this Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth, Youth Boosting Skin Foundation. This is the shade seven and like I said, we're really only using this to even out the color and tone of the skin. So I'm just doing like a couple dots all over the face and I'm actually just gonna blend that in with my hands today. Yes, we're coming back to life. I always feel like when I don't have like anything on the skin, I look so like 
ghostly. <laughs> so even just adding a little something like this, like this is obviously not full coverage at all. You guys know my favorite full coverage is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. Um, and that's what I would use if I was still going for a glowy look, but like wanted something that was just more va va voom. This like still shows your imperfections and everything like that is just a little bit like of a tint so that like now we kind of match more. Now, the glow is gonna start. So this is the new NARS Orgasm Liquid Highlighter. So bomb once again. Like I feel like I've really found like a ton of new products that are really helping me achieve this like natural glowy complexion. Um, but they released this whole new collection of orgasm products. The limited edition orgasm blush. We have a new palette, the Endless Orgasm Palette. It has a bunch of pretty like cream shades that you can actually use on your eyes, lips, or cheeks. So really pretty multi-use palette. The liquid highlighter like, like I showed you guys, and then this guy, which is the oil-infused lip tint. Also so pretty and something that I use a lot on the trip. So this collection kind of inspired this look, and this look was one that I was wearing a lot when I was on the island, and again, just like, such an incredible, incredible experience. Like, so beautiful. It was just, it was everything. So, first off, I'm gonna take this little liquid highlighter. It's really pretty, do you see? <laughs> and I just let it drip, you know? Because it almost acts to me as like a blush and a cheek highlight, like a liquid highlight, all put together as one. And I always put a little bit right between the center of the nose too. And do you see how glowy we look now? And this is not shim like overly glittery at all. It just gives you like that very natural, I woke up like this, this is not sweat, but it's glow kind of look. Um, so yeah, I really love this product from the new collection. And for concealer, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of shape tape in medium just to conceal those dark under eyes. But really for these kind of more natural islandy vacation glowy looks, you don't need that much coverage to make it look how you want it to look. And personally, I will still do a little bit of baking just because I really wanna make sure that that concealer and all those cream products stay in place. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. Just a teeny tiny little bake under here. You really just wanna place this anywhere that you personally crease a lot. So for me, like that's 100% under the eyes and down the smile lines. If I do not bake, like I will get creases there. So I just always make it a habit to do that. Even if I'm gonna do like a super duper, super duper, super duper, super duper natural look. And then we leave that to work its magic. But while we do that, um, I do usually go in with bronzer and that's what I was doing while on the trip. So for today's little bronzer moment, I'm gonna use this new L'Oreal Lumi True Match Bronze It. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, so that's kind of what I like for this type of look. I want it to have that sheen to it so that we just continue on with like the glowiness of the look. So I'm gonna take that, and this is number 02 Medium. I'm just gonna lightly Go around the edges of the face. And you can see some of my like little imperfections and acne scars and freckles and stuff show through, but I'm okay with that. Ooh, we look sun-kissed already in the me. St. Bart's ready. <laughs> Again, round two. And I think I'm gonna just let that bake a little bit while I move on to eyes. So what I was doing on the island, honestly, I was taking this shade right here, this middle one. It's so pretty. I know it looks like very dark actually, but when you put it on the eyes, it's just this like really nice warm toned, slightly shimmery shade. So what I was doing was taking that just on my finger and applying it directly to the eyelid. Like, do you see how beautiful that is? Ugh, I just love this. And the formula is really nice too because it is a cream-based product. So obviously, you know, it's gonna be great for these types of natural looks, but it honestly doesn't really move around like once you have it on your eyes. It really doesn't like get smudged everywhere or anything like that. It stays on pretty well. Take it out a little bit with whatever's left on my fingers. Just blend it out. So pretty. I honestly love this little little shadow here. You guys know the drill. I always go in with a little flat brush and just add a little bit of brown eyeshadow right to this outer corner because I really like the way that this 
lifts up the eyes and it, it will give you a more um, like feminine, sh feminine shape to your eyes. So you could see this eye kind of like is going down. Um, but what this does is it just adds some like definition to this outer corner. So it like pulls the eyes up when you look at them. Boom. And this one is the Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Rot. And next up, we're going to, sometimes, you know, honestly, sometimes I was using lashes, but when I did, I was using like these very, very uh, thin lashes called House of, House of Lashes Iconic Lights. Um, but sometimes I was also just doing mascara, like curling them and adding on a bit of mascara. So you can kind of go with whatever you want. If you want to wear lashes, you can always use something more on the light side. Wispies, like Ardell Wispies would be great. House of Lashes Iconic Lights. Even like Batty B Saucy would be pretty good. That's a little bit more like oomph. Honestly, I don't, I haven't decided yet if I want to do lashes today for this tutorial, but I guess we'll see after I do mascara. We'll see how the, how my lashes are cooperating. <laughs> sometimes my lashes surprise me. Like other, sometimes it's just they're goners and they don't want to cooperate at all. But then it's times like these where I'm like, should I put on falsy? I don't really know. I think we're just gonna leave it like really, really, really natural today because my lashes are kind of doing it for me already. And the mascara that I'm using is NARS Climax. Literally guys, we're rolling through this so fast and that's what I really like about this look is like you look very put together honestly um, but it really doesn't take that much time. So I'm just gonna wipe away all that baking powder, use the excess and just sh shine control up here. And after that, we're gonna use the little limited edition orgasm blush. Um, this is what I was using obviously like the whole time during the trip because it's just such a pretty like just woke up, just flushed kind of vibe. And I love mascara. Like I really love me a good, I mean, what am I saying? Blush. I really love blush. Like cheek products in general are my jam. And if you need to like smooth anything out, you can always take a pretty clean brush. So you don't want too much on here. Just take a little bit of powder. Like I said, this is like my secret weapon on so many looks for so many different things. So this is MAC Studio Fix Powder. And you can kind of just like smooth out any lines that you need to smooth out, buff everything in. It just helps to like get everything nice and blended. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using this Milani highlighting palette and I think I'm just gonna take this like rose gold shade. It looks really pretty over top of the liquid highlighter that we already put down. You can see the glow is so like mm, right now. We don't wanna add too much, but I always like a little something over top. When I just use a powder on its own, it doesn't have the same like wet effect, you know? So this really helps with that. Then for the inner corner, I'm gonna take this guy up here from the Endless Orgasm palette. And we're just gonna pop that right in that inner corner and a little bit under the brow bone. Okay, so last but not least, we have lips. So you can see this look is just so easy, so quick. Great for if you're chilling on a beach, on vacation, if you're traveling, anything like that, or just an everyday look if you do want to just like keep it very natural and glowy for your everyday school, work, anything looks. We got my little teeny tiny strip down, my favorite lip pencil. Um, and I always do lip liner even on natural looks because I like to even out my top lip to my bottom lip. You know, I don't have like fillers or anything like that. So we have to do the work ourselves. You definitely want to use a lip liner that's like really close to your natural lip color too for this step. Just go ahead and fill that in. And you definitely always want to take a little concealer brush and go around the lips because that's what's going to give it more of like a crisp look to it. And we're going to go in with the lip oil, the oil infused lip tint, which is really, really pretty on its own. Gives you a nice little tint and you can see it just gives you that like, again, almost like that just bitten <laughs> look or whatever. But it does give you like a lot of moisture too since it is oil infused. If your lashes are starting to fall like mine are right now, then me, I had faith in you little lashes and you're letting me down. Um, but if your lashes try to fall, you can go back in and just do a little zhuzh up with your curler 
even after you have mascara on, you can kind of like go in and boom. Alrighty guys, so this is our finished look. I hope you enjoyed this supernatural, glowy, vacation, trip-ready look that I was pretty much wearing all of St. Bart's. I'm actually glad that I got to use all of the new Orgasm products in a little tutorial because I really think that they are very beautiful and very like, they just go really well together and I'm not just saying that. So I wanted to give away the complete NARS Orgasm collection. Um, they gave us an extra set while we were in St. Bart's. So you're gonna get, you know, everything that I just used. I'll show you guys though. The Endless Orgasm Palette. We've got the oil infused lip tint right here. The liquid highlighter, boom bada bing. And also this box got a little, a little turmoiled in transit from St. Bart's, but also the limited edition NARS Orgasm blush. So hopefully you guys are excited, but if you want to try to win this, then all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below which product you're most excited about of those four. Let a girl know. And for an extra entry, you can always follow me on Instagram and repost, like tag me in story, in your story, like that you're watching the video, tag me, I'll repost you, everything like that, but that's also an extra entry to win this little bag of goodies, the entire new orgasm collection from NARS. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down below and make sure to turn those notifications on because supposedly now they do not notify you at all unless you have the bell on. Like even if you're subscribed, you won't get notified unless you have the bell. Supposedly, that's from what I hear, okay? What I hear through the grapevine. So make sure you turn the notification bell on if you don't wanna miss future videos from me. I upload Wednesdays and Sundays. And that's gonna be it for me. Stay tuned for my next video.